I have three things to share with you today. So God spoke to me and he told three important things. This is concerning the nation and concerning New York. So you can able to interchangeably see that because anything happens to New York, good thing. It's going to bless the whole nation. It goes other ways as well. But I strongly believe God makes all things work together for good. And that is the reason why we are here. God is all about expectation. God says, I will bring an expected end. But if your expectation is not good, then obviously you won't get the expected end. So even in the midst of calamities, you expect something good. Even in the midst of drought, you expect God will provide me. Even in the midst of lack and so no rain, the prophet believed, I'm going to be well fed in the midst of no rain, drought, economy down or like uh, stock market down, but I will thrive and prosper right. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. That is the attitude God wants us to have. That's the attitude prophet had in the Bible. And there is no difference today. God anointed each one of us with the prophetic anointing to think the same way how the prophets in the Bible thought. Elijah thought like, yeah, it's, it's drought. Yeah, it's drought for the world, not for me. That's how. And then like, oh, it's the economy is down. Okay, overnight it is going to change tomorrow. By this time, it's going to change. Everything is going to change. So that should be your attitude. An altitude. Your, your attitude will take you to the altitude. So God is going to do mighty wonders in your life. So God spoke to me three things. This is the first thing. God told that how multiple kings, they formed lions. But still, if you see the verse 5, this is like Joshua chapter 10 and verse 5. Then the five kings of Amorites, the king of Jerusalem, Hebron, Jermuth, Lashish and Eglon, joined forces. They moved up and all the troops and took up positions against Gibeon and attacked it. The Gibeonites then sent word to Joshua in the camp at Gilgal. Do not abandon your servants. Come, us, come up to us quickly and save us help us because all the Amorite kings from the hill, hill country have joined forces against us this is really an interesting so here Joshua has been called for and they are telling like these five different kings they are forming alliance and they are coming against this against us and we want you to come so Joshua marched up from Gilgal with his entire army we are the army here today. Amen. We are the army here. So Joshua marched up from Gilgal with his entire army. Jesus is our head. We all are army in the kingdom of God, including all the best fighting men. The Lord said to Joshua, do not be afraid of them. So don't be afraid of what's happening in New York. Don't be afraid of them. Don't be afraid of anything that's going on. The justice system or like what you hear on the news or what you hear from the main offices. Don't, don't be afraid. So this is what God says. God, God is same yesterday, today and forever. So this is the word for America as well. So God is saying this to Joshua, to all of us today. We all are Joshua's today. So Joshua, do not be afraid. The Lord said to Joshua, do not be afraid of them. You know, like always it is them because like it's a group. It's not like, a, you know, like they always them. You know, like it's really interesting that how enemy is always trying to, you know, like uh, form alliance, false alliance against the God's people and against the God's kingdom. We see that these people, they formed alliance against the God's people. Do not be afraid of them. I have given them into your hand. Not one of them will be able to withstand you. Not even one evil agenda of the enemy will not go unpunished. Every evil plans of the enemy will be brought to light and God will vindicate this nation. Every evil plans of the enemy, it's for a season they can, it looks like the, the unrighteous, it seems like they are rising above for a short time. But then, like a mushroom, they get withered and dried up. Because God made us like a gold. It's like very, very, righteousness is represented as gold in the Bible. So we will be very solid and God will always establish us. But the enemy is like a mushroom, like it just blooms and like looks so elegant and so nice, but the next day dried up, dried up in the sun. That's what exactly happened here. They all dried up when God stopped the sun, like a mushroom. Just look at this. So, so Joshua marched up from Gilgal with his entire army and verse 9, after an all-night march from Gilgal, Joshua took them by surprise. 
God always takes enemy by surprise. Enemy tried to come against Jesus, but God caught enemy by surprise. It was a surprise for enemy. What he was doing is contrary to what he was thinking that he is doing. That's what always enemy, God make the fool of the enemy. Enemy will try and think I'm brilliant and doing things, but then God expose and then make the enemy fool. That's how our God. So he is going to do that same in here in this state and in this country. I mean, God always loved to repeat the history. He loves to see his people arise and see the victory. And that's really amazing. So here we see that in the verse 9. So Joshua and the Israelites defeated them completely because it, it's a surprise. The Lord threw them into confusion before Israel. God is going to create confusion among the enemies of this nation and among the enemies of this state. There will be confusion in the camp of the enemy. The Lord is going to bring confusion in the enemy's camp. And we see that here, the moment when they are confused, they are powerless. When the enemy is confused, they will be confused. They will know. They don't know where to go. They will look here and there. They don't know. They are confused. And we see that the enemy is confused and they don't know. They, are, they thought they are a powerful person in the world. But then like when they are confused, they don't know which direction to go. They are going this direction and then they are going this direction. They are confused. Blindfolded. So Joshua and the Israelites defeated them completely. When the enemy is, con when the enemy is really confused, that's why we take the spiritual authority, dominion, to bring down the stronghold in the name of Jesus. How many of you believe that God is going to bring down the enemy because the enemy is confused? That's, that's, that's what God is doing. God confused the enemy. Israel pursued them along the road going up to Beth Horon, Horon and cut them down all the way to Azek and Makeda. As they fled before Israel on the road down from Beth Horon and Azeka, the Lord hurled large hailstones down on them and more of them died from the hail and they were killed by the swords of the Israelites. So this is really interesting. God never let the enemy to escape. God will bring them to justice. God loves justice and he loves to bring vindication. So God really brought the moment when God gave a word to Joshua, he fulfilled that word. Today, God is going to fulfill his word in your life, in the nation, in the state. Every word he gave, he will fulfill. It may look like it's really delaying, but God will seize that moment and he will bring victory. So on the day, the Lord gave the Amorites over to Israel. Joshua said to the Lord in the presence of Israel, Sun, stand still over Gibeon, and you, moon, over the valley of Ailon. And so that the sun stood still and the moon stopped till the nation avenged itself on its enemies. As it is written in the book. It's really important. So the sun stopped and the moon stood still. Why? Because they needed light. They don't have electricity then. They don't have military vehicles with the light on. They don't have any power after night. It's dark. They might end up killing themselves. They don't want to do that. They want light. They want light. They want light. So today, when the light is bright, the enemy is consumed. The enemy is defeated. When the light is bright, the enemy is completely nowhere to escape. That's why God told that Jesus is the light of the world. And today he made each one of us the light. So wherever you go carrying the light, not leaving the territory and staying strong, you radiate the light of Jesus. So when the light comes, the darkness is exposed and the Lord will bring forth a deliverance. The Lord will bring forth justice. He will eradicate the enemy out of the nation, out of the state. How many of you believe? God is going to eliminate every wicked plans of the enemy out of the state, out of the place. And because God did that by stopping the sun, stopping the moon, it's the faith of Joshua because he wants a finisher anointing. He wants to get things done. So when you have an attitude in prayer, that I want to see change happen in the nation. I want to see change happen in the state. God will make it happen. How many of you believe that? Amen. It's going to happen powerfully. It is going to happen. Yes. God is going to do extraordinary things. And we see that the sun stopped in the middle of the sky and delayed going down about a full day. There has never been a day like it before or since. A day when the Lord listened to a human being. 
Surely the Lord was fighting for Israel. So surely the Lord is fighting today for the state of New York and for the nation of America. I strongly believe. You are going to hear something that never happened will happen in the nation. Nobody thought like, is it possible? Yes, God, with God, all things are possible. He is going to make something spectacular. But the thing is, you need to have great audacity and boldness and courage to ask God. And God will answer it. You don't have to do. God will fight for you. And you don't have to, you know, like do anything. Just in the closet, in your prayer. That's why like God told, go prayer marathon. So which is more important than being on the streets. God wants us to be in the closet and pray and see things done and happen. Powerful people, they don't go. Imagine there are a lot of wars going on in the world. Um, at least a couple of major things. But they are not fighting on the ground. They are in there. They know their authority. So God's children, you and I, God wants us to stay strong. There is a time and the season to step out. There is a time and the season to step in and stay strong and pray. So this is the time I believe we need to stay together and pray in the closet and God is going to bring a powerful deliverance or pray in the conference like this. God is going to do mighty things. This is number one. God who brought Joshua by bringing answers, he's going to bring answer to each one of you today. How many of you believe that? It's going to be powerful. Hallelujah. You know, like I was coming from uh, uh, Newark. I, I landed in Newark. Newark. It's a, because that's the flight that uh, was convenient from Atlanta. But then like um, um, the moment I landed, I landed around 3.15 uh, or 3.30, around 3.30. And it showed like I'll be reaching here only at 5.30. I mean, because I got the um, transportation and everything around like 3.45. And then like uh, it showed I will be reaching here only at 5.30 or 5.40. I don't know. Uh, but then God gave me a word. The Lord was speaking to me. He told me. He makes his messengers wins, his ministers a flaming fire. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This, is, this, is, this is the word God told that I'm going to make immediately like from 5.35 reaching time in the maps. It turned out to 4.53. Like 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 32, like probably like 32, 35. Especially here, like I was like just like 7 miles or something away. It showed like uh, I'm reaching here at 5, 5, 5, 5 5.35. So I was thinking like by the time... Probably like this is too late. So, but God took, gave me this exact word. He, he told me, I'll make my messengers wins. And I'll make ministers of flaming fire. In other words, God told, I'll take you faster. I know how to control the traffic of this state. How to clear for his people to get things done. How many of you believe when God wants you to meet your customer or client or business partner or, or for a ministry, for a church, he will make you to reach that. Amen. He, will, he will make sure. He will do that. And he is doing that. And that's what, like, I, I could be late. I will be just now reaching. But the thing is, God really made things in a powerful way. That's really a faith in action. The moment when God gave this word, I forget about looking at the map. Obviously, like, the driver is the one who was driving. So, I forget. I don't have to look at the map. Let the Uber driver drive and then I, I just I just focused on like praying praying and preparing for this so it's really amazing to see that the moment when God gives you a word get hold of that forget about that matter that's right. see that is the highest form of faith you know like when God tells you something don't really like um, did, did it happen did it happen we don't have to check hundred times did that mail come did that or like did, did it did it happen no I think you, you just like, God said it, Come on. He will do it. Yes, just wait for it. It will manifest. Amen. He will manifest His glory. How many of you believe? Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, God is going to manifest His glory. So the three things I said, that's number one. This is number two. God told me sometime back that I'm bringing, um, the giants are falling in the state. Giants, giants. I'm talking about not um, any, anything else, but the giants that are trying to control. The giants always try to intimidate. You know, like whenever there are the, there is a giant in a in a land, they will try to show I'm I'm the boss. I, they they try to show off. But then, like God told me a few months back, giants are falling all over the nation, even here as well in New York. So this is the, not not the team. This is the giants I'm talking about. The 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 evil giants I'm talking about. So. They are. Giants will win. This, the, the team will win, but the, these things will fall. I strongly believe these Philistines were descendants of giants of Gath. Gath is the wine press place. It is a place uh, 
wine press um and then like but all you press and white press basically all you press as well but david and his warriors killed them so it's interesting many of many times we know that david defeated goliath but then he made it a pattern that he found every giant and then finished them off the <laughs> point the point is today spiritually as we pray god will bring down every giants down every strongholds down and as we prophesy every strongholds will come down out of the state out of the nation so that when the giants fall there is peace and calm as long as there was goliath uh, all the israelites including the army of of israel they were really terrified because he was constantly showing off himself as a boss but then the people they were really terrified whatever is terrifying you today those giants are going to come down is sickness is terrifying you are like is corruption is terrifying you are is some some policies that is really causing you to like shaken god will bring those giants down amen he'll bring down those giants down and god is raising david he is going to bring david in a powerful way the david anointing is here amen. the lord's anointing is operating on you and he is going to bring powerful thing so is debt is your giant he will bring it down he'll bring he'll make sure that the debt will fall completely go and he will bring forth a wealth transfer is whatever is your giant sickness is life threatening sickness your giant he will give a new report good report he will eradicate the patterns of the enemy is uh, is loneliness is your giant he will bring that down whatever your giant in your life or in the nation he will bring it down he is going to do extraordinary things so today god is going to release his amazing giant killing anointing upon you how many of you want bringing down the giant in your life in the nation he will bring it down for his glory david asked ahimelech don't you have a spear or a sword here i haven't brought my sword david is saying this is like first samuel 21 and verse 8 i haven't brought my sword or any other weapon because the king's mission was urgent the priest replied the sword of goliath the philistine whom you killed in the valley of ila is here it is wrapped with the cloth behind the ephod if you want it take it there is no sword here but that one mm-hmm. only one sword is in the temple of god and the house house of god and it, that is the sword that david took it from goliath goliath um was eradicated and david used his own sword to cut his head yes. and then buried in jerusalem that's the mount golgotha that's a place of skull and then we see that he let the sword to be in the temple of god as a symbol of victory and then he comes one day to the temple of god house of god and he's asking the priest ahimelech and then he says there is no other sword but the one that you took it from the philistian david said there is none like it give it to me there is none like it today god is going to give the plunder of the enemy to you how many of you believe the plunders of the enemy the plunder of the unrighteous the plunders will come to you the weapons that the enemy used against you will come in your hand but you use it for good the enemy used it for bad it may be a financial weapon that the enemy is using it may be a stock weapon or it may be any weapon that the enemy is using against you or a healthcare weapon or doesn't matter what weapon educational weapon it will come to the believers the church you will arise and shine you will use the weapon in a good way as long as the weapon is in a terrorist can they are going to use it evil way but as long as the weapon is in your hand you will use it for the kingdom glory Amen. talking about the resources wisdom yes. the financial areas or medical healthcare any areas wherever the enemy the moment the enemy saw an opportunity then they abuse that opportunity to make billions but when god god says that i'm going to bring the same weapon and i'm going to take it from the enemy and give it in your hands the church and you will arise and shine and mighty things will happen in your life you are going to arise and shine so three things i said we saw joshua first and then we saw david who is defeating the giants and then taking the 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 best of giant what is the best of goliath he had a sword that was so strong and it it really terrified the israelites but then now it is in the house of god and it's really amazing to see today the last thing i wanted to share and i'm going to release the prophetic word as god gives unction and we will move forward so the last thing god told me 
the Jezebel in this nation and the state will fall down. Amen. How many of you believe? Every Jezebel in the nation and the state will fall down, come down, crashing down and completely crumble. You know, like Jehu came all of a sudden, he came into the house of Jezebel. Jezebel was expecting, Jezebel always tried to entice and she wants to flatter and she wants to bring Jehu down and she asked, did you come in peace? And he asked, who is with me? Couple of people, they just looked at the head and they said like, yeah, we are kind of, they are with them. Throw her down, that's it. And immediately, then, the, then the, these people, these two, peop two people, we see that some of her blood splashed on the wall and the horses that trampled her body. Jehu went into the house and ate and drank. And he was living as if normal person. And we see that. Then he said, now see, because this, this woman, she, she cursed the land. She yeah. stopped the rain, actually. She's yeah. the one of the main reasons why there was the rain stopped in the land. The Jezebel is a controlling spirit, manipulating spirit. And, uh, you know, like uh, today, enemy wants people to have sympathy for Jezebel. But that is what, like, the nation is going in some way. But God wants to have no sympathy for Jezebel. Give it in the hands of God. That God have his way and bring down the Jezebel. As long as Jezebel spirit, I'm talking about the spirit, as long as the Jezebel spirit is active and alive and the media is really entertaining the Jezebel spirit, yeah. the nation cannot thrive, prosper or yes. multiply. But the moment when the Jezebel spirit die, that is the day that is breakthrough. That is the day there is a prosperity. That is the day there is wellness and wholeness. That is the day God's plan can prosper. As long as Jezebel's spirit is there, it is threat to prophets and church. We see that she threatened. She, she has no power, but her main thing is talking and threatening and media appearance to project a form of godliness, but denying its power. That is the main scheme of the Jezebel. Jezebel always try to take what she wants and that is the spirit. We are talking about a spirit here, but it can operate through people. It can operate through the nation leaders. It can operate through some leaders in the state or leaders in the court or leaders in any place for that reason. But God wants us to stand against that spirit. Hallelujah. It is the spirit that we are against it. When God, God can deliver a person from the spirit of Jezebel. But the point is, that everything today, we have to stand against the spirit of Jezebel. Because the Jezebel spirit cannot be saved. But the, the person can be saved from the spirit today. But God wants us to dethrone the Jezebel in the nation. Dethrone the Jezebel in the state of New York. Dethrone from Queens. How many of you believe God wants to dethrone the spirit? This spirit that takes the authority in hand and abuses, that is Jezebel's spirit. Jezebel literally did that. She, take the author she took the authority and then she sat as a queen and she said, now I run the nation. And she did whatever it pleased to her that displeased God. Building the altars of Baal and building statues that really displeased God and really making a symbolism to make people to follow the false God rather than one true living God. And, he, and he entertaining the people to go astray as soon as possible when they are exposed to their agenda. That is the plan of the Jezebel. And God is going to rip off and dethrone, throw down the Jezebel spirit from the nation Amen. and from the state. I strongly believe it is going to bring breakthrough. Hallelujah. It is going to be so powerful. Hallelujah. So just two, three days back, one night, God told me, go to New York. God has been speaking to me to go to all 50 states for two years. But I have been praying because going to 50 state is um, not an overnight decision. But after you prepared for two years, then going to New York is an overnight decision. <laughs> it's easier. It's easier. So that's our God. God plans and we seems, it seems like it's a couple of years or four years of waiting time. God plans and um, strengthens. The moment comes, nothing can stop. The moment comes, God will bring breakthrough. That's the thing. Seven days they have been roaming around the Jericho wall. But the moment came, it's already preset. God told, seventh day, you see deliverance. You see breakthrough. The seventh day, immediately, the wilderness was shaken and the Israelites could enter in. And the last barrier, a big barrier that stopped them to receive the promise was shaken. Today, I strongly believe the last barrier, like a Jericho wall that's blocking the state, to receive what God has planned will be falling down tonight. Amen. How many of you believe? Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, the last barrier. 
last wall, every stone is the evil agenda of the enemy in the Jericho wall. Like every stone, there are every stone, there are multiple stones that needs to come down tonight spiritually. It will come down in Jesus' name. It is going to be powerful. Yes. God is going to do amazing things. Marvelous things. Yes. So that's why you see that this is the 16th of February. We are starting New York as number one. That's, uh, that's the plan of God. I have been planning to go to other states, planned, prepared, and even like um, earlier. But then like God told, go to New York two days back, two, three days back. And then I just searched for the ticket. I found a ticket. And then from Atlanta, I just, just came in. Amen. And God told, yeah, start in New York. That's the place I need to start my power, my glory, my deposit my anointing, my favor. And that is very, very something special about this place. That's why like God chose this place because there is potential of God that's manifested in this place. That's a thick anointing of God. The God has a potential in this place. So, you know, like uh, while enemy is trying to do everything possible, but the New Yorkers stay strong and stay here. They don't move anywhere because that is the power of God. So that is, the, that is the reason why the faith has been imported. Doesn't matter whatever enemy tries to do. People are unshakable. They are very strong here because of anointing of God and the grace of God and the faith of God operated in you. It's very important. We worship you, Jesus. We glorify your name. Hallelujah. King of kings and the Lord of lords, we praise you. Hallelujah. Nothing compares to your matchless love. Hallelujah. Oh, we praise you, Jesus. Victorious King, marvelous wonders are going to happen. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we praise you, Jesus. The same spirit that raised Jesus from dead is living inside of you to quicken your mortal bodies. Hallelujah. Oh, we praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your presence, your angelic presence in this place. Hallelujah. Fill this place with your Shekinah glory. Hallelujah. Oh, we praise you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Greater things, greater things are yet to come. Thank you, Father. Mighty wonders. Thank you, Father. Oh, we praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your angels are in this place. Ascending and descending. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Where there is presence of God, his angels are in his presence. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for your holy presence in this place. Hallelujah. Oh, we praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your Holy Spirit is filling each one of us today evening. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is showing the gates of heaven is open. The Lord says that my presence is released from the gates of heaven. Even right now, I see the presence of God is coming upon each one of you. Thank you, Father. Oh, we praise you, Jesus. I see the glory, glory manifestation, glory of God is coming upon each one of you. Thank you, Father. Oh, we praise you. God is breaking every barriers, breaking every challenges, breaking every hindrances. We praise you. Hallelujah. I plead the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus over New York. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. The Lord is breaking every strongholds. No weapon formed against this nation shall prosper. Hallelujah. No weapon formed against this state shall prosper. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we praise you, Father. What a marvelous wonders. Hallelujah. Thank you, glorious Jesus. Hallelujah. I see that the Lord is stretching out his hand towards this state. Hallelujah. Of New York. I see the hand of the Lord is blessing this state right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He strategically placed each one of you for a reason, for a purpose. Hallelujah. The Lord says, I will dismantle every Jezebel. I will dismantle every Pharaoh in this place, in this state. Hallelujah. In this nation, the Lord is going to bring his power. Hallelujah. 
dominion, authority. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Supernatural glory is coming upon this place. Thank you, Father. I see that the hand of the Lord is stretched. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, glorious Jesus. Towards the Empire State Building, I see that the hand of the Lord is stretched towards the state. Hallelujah. Oh, we praise you. The Lord says that I will begin my reversal in this state. I will bring an amazing restoration in this state. Hallelujah. I will bring redemption in this state. Hallelujah. We praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. I see... I see that the Lord's living water is poured out on this state. Hallelujah. In this time and the season, I see the living water. Living water is upon New York. New York City. Every, every city. Hallelujah. In this New York. Hallelujah. Bronx, Buffalo. Every place. Hallelujah. The power of God. The flow of the Holy Spirit is filling this place. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we praise you, Father. Hallelujah. The Lord is consecrating this place. Consecrating each one of you, hallelujah, consecrating the leaders here, hallelujah, spiritual leaders. Thank you, Father, we praise you. Thank you, glorious Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Every barriers the Lord is breaking, every injustice the Lord is reversing, reversing, reversal, reversal in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, we praise you, Father, for every injustice, every area where the enemy is trying to play, will stop today. We'll stop today in the name of Jesus. We praise you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I see that the Lord is writing, writing, hallelujah, a new history for this state of New York, a new history for His glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord says, my revival will break through from this Queens. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is the place where the enemy tried to touch. But this is the same place. My revival will break out, says the Father. Thank you, Jesus. The revival will break out. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. An unstoppable, unbreakable revival. Glorious revival is going to break out from this place today. Thank you, Jesus. Marks the beginning of the new new start. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we praise you, Father, for such a time as this. The glory cloud of God is covering New York City. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We praise you. The Lord says, my eyes are watching over this state. Hallelujah. Watching over this nation. My eyes are upon this nation. My eyes are upon this state. Hallelujah. My eyes are upon each one of you here. Thank you, Jesus. Each one of you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, glorious Jesus. Marvelous wonders will happen in this place. Thank you, glorious Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We come against every principalities and powers, every strongholds against this state. Hallelujah. We bring down, we bring down in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We call for the fire of God to bring breakthrough in this state, to bring revival in this state, to settle everything that concerns us. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let every crime be pushed back out of this state in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I plead the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let the warriors arise. Warriors in prayer. Warriors in the spirit. Warriors. Hallelujah. Warriors of God arise and shine and dismantle the strongholds in this state. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for the strong power. I see the strong power of God like a thunder that is going to come upon this state and brings an amazing breakthrough and deliverance. Breakthrough and deliverance. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Every plans of the enemies are foiled today in the name of Jesus. Every plans, every wicked plans of the enemies are dismantled today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Oh, we praise you, Father, for such a power. I see that the Lord is really drawing a circle around the New York. Hallelujah. New York City. And I see that the fire, that's the fire of God. Protection. I see the Fire protection is around the New York City primarily. Thank you, Jesus. There's a fire, fire protection around each one of you here. There's a circle around you. Thank you, Father. Oh, we praise you, Jesus. Marvelous wonders are going to happen. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we praise you, Jesus. Let your name be glorified, Jesus. Hallelujah.